some more? <laughs> Well, Bardock's not the only member of this team, though the silly name was all his idea. The SK standing for Spiral Knights, because someone is a Gurren Lagann fan. I'm Magic Theatre, and I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of a game I've not played since I was four. Like my good friend, I have no experience at this, but it seemed like it might be fun. So, without further delay, let's play The Seventh Guest. Well, that's kind of appropriate, with this game being a fossil. He was a drifter, moving from town to town. Grocery store there until one night. She was coming home from choir practice, but she never got there. Stoff took her purse and ran away. Spent Stoff had to run and hide. He sunk even lower. He had nothing, no life, no possessions, no dreams. This week on Panorama, the dark truth behind Santa's workshop. Stoff went to town, to a bar. The owner had a daughter. Ooh, he said his girl would love the strange doll. And Stoff offered it to the man. And the owner, in turn, offered Stoff food and a place to stay. A simple transaction. The first of many. I just love this guy's face here, it cracks me up. said Cabbage Patch Kids were evil. Thank you. 
Now, there are some graphical glitches about here. I, I don't really know what I can do about them, but I apologise. My, isn't this a cheery place? Miss Scarlet in the lounge with the candlestick. Edward, I'm not sure we should have been here today. Why? Because it's a spooky old house? <laughs> Don't worry, dear. I'll watch out for you. <laughs> the years were not kind to Bella and Edward. Danny her spotable tea and all that. This guy must have got the wrong idea when the invite said fancy dress. <laughs> oh god, look at him. <laughs> me most mornings. And with that, I'll bid you farewell for now. Join me next time when we'll be sinking our teeth into this properly.